Wow, sir, wow. Get to actually feel the heat of a bonfire on my face, which is what I wanted to do. I haven't been to a bonfire for quite a few years. When I was still catching the buses, before they put horrible talking buses on, and the uncomfy buses, I was going past places that were having bonfires. But I think that was while Covid was still on and we could only go out a certain amount of time. Well, we're not allowed, we were only allowed to go out a certain amount of time. Just think that the Celts were having bonfires all the time. It was just normal to have a beautiful fire and people around and drums maybe and music playing. The thing is, all the houses they built around us now, the designs of them, they're just really, really horrible. They're like really tall and too big. These are the Starmer powerhouses which he wants to have everywhere, but what they're doing is they're breaking the law because the council's not meant to change the style of the area. It's meant to keep the style of the area. If they want to build a brand new area and start again somewhere else, but this was a particular road with a particular name and the houses suited it and then something mysterious happened. Someone died and then two neighbours sold up and they had these bungalows with beautiful kind of gardens which match the name of the road. And then they, they, they sold it off and built these huge houses. They made money out of the area and then moved away. And it, it's changed the whole appearance of the street. And now even we're on the, right on the edge of the countryside. The then, uh, uh, for, I don't know why this other guy, this old guy, he sold one of his fields and they built houses there. Blocked off all his views. But it's not just that. What, you know, the, the hamlet that is where those houses have been built they could have built some really nice houses for people but they haven't they've built these it's just like a big mass of bog buildings this is what starmer's doing he's, he's still not building a nice britain and even if you live in coventry or birmingham somewhere that's heavily built up which i'm not knocking the fact is that it's actually make the I don't like what they're designing and building now the architects and builders it's all for some person to make a net gain profit out of it and ram people in it's not actually creating a nice world and in the same we're making progress but progress would be all the people from the area coming together you, I, can, I know they've got these groups on the internet and these like community groups but Nothing really from those community group discussions gets um, really taken seriously by the council unless you turn up and talk. And even on the objections, I don't think it does. And they're still making decisions for these corporate entities. And you know, all these excess trillions that these companies are making, you know, if people had had more money, they could have built or bought nicer houses and made the areas nicer with gardens and places to grow stuff. But they're still... I've been onto this new street that they've built, right? And it's actually on a country road. It's like, so if you've got a field next to a country road, they don't actually build nice houses even for the people, and even though they're expensive, but they're still just, that road they've built and the design of it for that area, it, they've actually built something which is visually and aesthetically Horrible. I mean, I actually walked onto that road and it, it, it's 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 like actually being bricked in or blocked in. When you walk into the street, it, it's it's you're, you 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 suddenly the area that it is and the place that it is and on a particular edge of somewhere with beautiful views. What they're actually doing is they're creating somewhere that something that isn't even nice really for the people who move into it and buy it. 
you know and that is the problem with it and it I, I don't know what and to be honest that guy he didn't I don't even think that he lived to see it completed or finished and I don't know if the money's just gone to his relatives or what so I don't know whether he did it for the Labour Party whether it was like a team play move for the Labour Party I think there were some other forces involved because one of the so they tried to build some houses down in the village and one of the councillors was championing um, opposition but on here up here no one seemed to help or do anything and also hid all the signs and notices I didn't even know that they put an, uh, planning in you know because no one told me and I was going past the end of the road all the time that I don't think they put sufficient signs there to give notice not that the councillor would have thought that a few more objections would have made a difference because I don't think they even act on these objections and the value of the objections has been undermined they're saying that you know a valid objection is only on this point or that point when it can be on whatever you want which is basically what they've been doing in the courts with the juries they've been misguiding the juries in in the actual law the um, decisions can actually be on points of law or just on what the jury think this is what's been happening in the Gail Bradbrook case and look at either Ian Bray case at Southwark Crown Court and that those lies misdirecting the jury what decisions they can and can't have or misguiding them that model has been what's going on for objections by the public for against the building and corporate entities as well so I think that all the objections which should have blocked a lot of this corporate stuff um, a lot of the public should have won their objections they should have been able to um, actually stop a lot of things of what have been happening and keep their areas peaceful and quiet and nice because now also those bike lanes that they put on one of the other major routes it hasn't actually what it's done is it's actually sent a load of traffic can't be bothered going on that road now and they've all come past us and made it really loud but not just us but everyone on the road it's they've made it loud for so there's a lot of things the council are doing at the moment which is just wrong and this is why i want at robert f kennedy to get into government i mean i know that he's suggesting things like building big blocks of apartments in america but that's for homeless people and people who haven't even got anywhere to live that's just to get people off the streets full stop that's not even getting into people when they're buying houses and then there's the corporate entities that have been trying to buy up all the homes and take possession mainly so they can fit them out as they want they're wanting what the corporate are wanting to do is they they're even trying to get people to put motion detectors, cameras and everything on the houses. Eventually it's all going to be controlled from central government just like in this Orwellian, um, in the Orwell films, Orwellian films that they're talking about and that is exactly what they're doing. It's not a very nice trustworthy, you know, you want humans, you want there to be no thefts or crime or incidents because people don't want to, not because they feel they're on camera all the time because what actually happens then is be life becomes like theatre when everything's being filmed and everything's being recorded what actually happens is that you know like the law they call it the act the act the act because we're all meant to act in accordance with it but what happens then is actually life itself becomes theatre but when we're born as animals and creatures, we're not meant to be adding a, another play or layer on top of that. We're meant to be alive in this world through the laws of God and through the power of nature. I think the government want literally every second in our lives to be like an act and acted by their direction, like on the Truman Show. You know, like on the Truman Show, the movie, the Truman Show. And I think that is a horrible way to be a living, breathing, breathing creature, like a living, breathing creature on this planet. And then you've got Elon Musk, who is just going on and on about um, his AI. He cares about AI more than actual people, which is, you know, sacked and made redundant because it wasn't profitable for him um, rather than actually have jobs that people like and enjoy he, he he says it's a waste of money and he can do it he wants to make profit out of it not actually supply people something to do which they enjoy doing just trying to light a sparkler now 
And they actually, I had a snowman firework, and it's not even the 5th of November, it's the 4th of November. I wanted a firework on the 5th of November, and um, they're taking the, fa the snowman's firework, and I was even thinking about saving it for Christmas, that snowman firework as well. I was thinking about saving the snowman firework for Christmas. When it, if it might have snowed. I can't get this sparkle of it. Bloody hell! I don't know what's happening with this. Unbelievable! Come on! This is ridiculous. I can't believe this. I'm gonna pause. Eventually, oh, fuck, you've got to be kidding me. Managed to get the sparkle going. So, I've actually got some feel the heat of a bonfire on my face for once. Give me that.